All right, enough theory. I want to see some command line action. Not so fast, you might say. Don't we have to install Gradle first? Not at all. Gradle's first trick is that it knows how to install itself. All it needs is a shell script and a tiny jar that knows just enough to download and install Gradle. I have in this directory a copy of the Gradle wrapper. Gradle wrapper consists of just a shell script. We've got one for uh, Mac and Linux, and we've got one for Windows. And then inside the Gradle directory, you have a tiny jar. The way the Gradle wrapper works is you call it with a Gradle command. It'll check to see if Gradle is installed. If it is, it'll just pass along a command. If it isn't, the Gradle wrapper will go ahead and download Gradle for you first. Let's go ahead and run the Gradle shell script and see what happens. We didn't already have Gradle installed, so now it's downloading it. You see a lot of dots. Even more dots. All right, there we go. Gradle's been downloaded. Welcome to Gradle 2.3. Hmm, looks like Gradle decided we need some help. This option to see a list of all available tasks looks good. Let's try running this. So let's try running the tasks command using the Gradle wrapper. Whoa, that's a whole lot of tasks that Gradle already knows about. And as we scan through all these tasks, hmm, looks like there's a task that's calling out to us. Let's give this one a try. Now let's use the Gradle wrapper to run the hello task. Along with some diagnostic output, we get a nice greeting. How sweet. Gradle has to do a significant amount of work to start up, mainly because it's required to spin up an instance of the Java virtual machine. This startup time can be mitigated by using the Gradle daemon. A daemon is just a process that hangs around in the background of your operating system, doing something useful. When Gradle is instructed to use a daemon, a daemon process is started and continuously runs in the background, keeping the JVM instance alive, so that subsequent Gradle runs can use the same instance. By default, Android Studio always uses the Gradle daemon. When running Gradle from the command line, however, you'll have to explicitly enable it. Simply put, you should always use the daemon when possible. By using the daemon, you can take advantage of huge performance benefits that are planned to get even better in future versions of Gradle.